beginning. We all come to a story with hopes and expectations, looking for an answer. Sometimes it would be better to live with that hope without ever knowing the full story. In a horror story, there are only victims and monsters. And the trick is not to end up as either. But trapped by the genre, we are all ripped to pieces along the way. This is not the story I hoped it would be. This is not the ending I wanted. This story will eat us alive. This story is a monster. And monsters wear many faces.
most of the stuff. I need to finish this. Kiddo, how are you? I'm good, Mom. How are you? This trip might take a little longer than I thought. I'm sorry I've been gone so much lately, Logan. Oh my god, Mom. It's not your fault. People get all murdery. What happened? Just work stuff. Right. Well, Dad and I are just watching the latest episode of Night Springs here. Mom, it's so good. No spoilers. I'll let you get back to... You were supposed to wait and watch with me. I love you both. This is what happens when you go on work trips, Mom. Love you too. And say hi to Casey. Tell him to stop brooding so much. Logan! I will. Bye, kiddo. Whoa, what an intro! Up. Oh my god. Snarky kid. Wonder where she gets that from. It can't be a coincidence that another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Feels like the killer's leaving us a message. I'm glad you're on this case with me, Anderson. It's right up your alley. You should take lead. Think of me as the backup. Okay. Any words of advice? Nothing that would cheer anyone up. Here we are. Cauldron Lake. Time to get to work. Deputy was supposed to be here to show us to the crime scene. There's the car, so where's the deputy? Seems to be aim assist, aim, uh, not sensitivity, acceleration, I don't know how to turn it off, I'll deal with it. Eaten by a bear, I'll check out that map. Oh, it's bringing back such control vibes and I love it. Uh, worth memorizing before we get swallowed up by the trees. Now, I wasn't going to do VO with this, but that intro literally jump scared me like three times. Could be so our deputy. I think it's probably I worth having on. Hey, over here. Hey there. Agent Casey, right? Sheriff Raker said you'd be coming by to take over the case. You're half right. Anderson. Saga Anderson, I'll be leading this case. Seems you already know my partner, Alex Casey. Oh, shoot. 
Sorry about that, ma'am. I'm Deputy Mulligan. I just figured that, you know, that, uh... Those damn feds gonna show up, Mulligan? Federal agents right here, Thornton. My partner, Thornton, <laughs> down at the crime scene. He's not what you call the sharpest axe in the shed. Right here? What do you mean? Are they with you? Oh, shit! They didn't hear me, did they? Were there any witnesses? Yeah, a couple out-of-towners. I wonder what they were doing sneaking around the woods at oh, night. I mentioned the city folk. It's pretty suspicious. Not that we have anything against city folk, cried Thornton. But don't worry. Sheriff Breaker took him back to town a while ago. What can you tell us about the crime scene? Tell him about the heart. I was getting to that, Thornton. Well, we reckon there are some, uh, organs that are currently outside the victim's person when they should be, well, you know, inside. <laughs> I want to see the body. How do we get there? Oh, sure, that's real simple. Just through the hole in the fence, down the hill towards the lake, around the old convenience store, you can't miss it. Everything's been closed since the area was fenced off. The store, the campground, all of it. Hey, Mulligan, tell him I'm here, Winky. I'll show him around. They got it, Thornton. Let's go do some investigating. Whoa. Before right. we get to the crime scene, there's time to review the facts of the case so far. Make sure I'm seeing the clues clearly. Just the board case. The mine place. My version of the mine palace technique. To sift through clues and work the case. Building the mine place again for each case. Using each field office as a model in my head. The facts are on the board. Everything we know about the previous murders. Worth taking another look. Mental technique did a lot of saga to analyze clues and progress the investigation. Right to walk around, zoom in, zoom out, use the cursor, highlight, free to navigate the case board, leave by pressing circle. A series of murders have occurred around the town of Brown Falls. Finding connections will help our search for the killer. Slight difference in murders, blotting all the commonality in bodies, but not the cause of death. Chest trauma exposed to water, pulse more open, and then rain. Bruising on wrists, deep gash in chest, head, heart missing. All bodies experience bloating. Three victims reported in 2010. No one of the commonalities. Tattooing after death. Ooh, that's weird. Murder targets have no discernible common traits. Chest trauma resembles animal butchery techniques. It's a hunters. Most likely. Is that where I'm going? General store. Down and around the general store. Alright, so follow the path. Is this path? Is dotted line of path. Is. Uh, where is it? Exit. Is there a key anywhere? No key. Is this a key? No. Alright. Wait, actually, what is that? Five dots is fifty, one big line is a hundred. I don't think that's what it means. Cool. If 
what else can I do in here? You got alcohol in here? I see you're already hard at work, Anderson. Close to cracking it. We're just getting started. Let's head down the hill to the crime scene. Hey, Casey. You putting me in charge. Why now? Look, Anderson, you're a better detective than I am. You've cracked cases that had the rest of us baffled. I don't want to slow you down. Are you thinking of retiring? You know what happens to cops who say this is their last case. Mm-hmm. Real funny, Anderson. Stairs are out. You okay to jump down? I'm... Whoa. The mighty mountain in the distance is no other than Mirror Peak, the iconic landmark overlooking Cauldron Lake. From the right angle, its beauty will be reflected on the calm surface of the lake, mirrored in all its inverted glory. Hmm. Maybe we can have a look when we're waters down. Right? Okay, nature. Gives me a headache. Too much sky. Yeah, you're going ahead. There's a path up here. I want to check it out. out. Be right back. Got it. Is that a building? Oh, I can't actually go, go up there. Just force me to turn around then. That's fine. Water falls, this powerful feat of nature will revive the spirit as it does the surrounding nature. The churning, grinding waters at the bottom of the falls resemble a mortar and pestle, quite like the one the witch of Cauldron Lake is fabled to have used to travel through the night sky. Peace, Anderson. Forest can be a dangerous place. Not a bad place to get murdered. Hmm. If getting back to nature is your thing. Damn. Should have brought an umbrella. I like the rain. The only thing around here that feels like home. You think the local law had the sense to put up a tarp? Hmm. If they did, next coffee's on me. I'll be back in a second. Roger. Deputy Thornton, I take it. That's me, at your service, ready to get this case solved. Now the body's behind the store. Come on, I'll show you. Body, shall we? Now 
Now this is the scene of the crime. We found him on the table. And we didn't touch nothing, you know, procedures and stuff. Thanks, Deputy. No tarp. You owe me a coffee. Okay. Let's start by examining our guest of honor. Does this fit the MO of the previous murders? Tied down, heart missing, yep. Penis out. Step one. Examine the corpse. Body is positioned on the table. Ritualistic. Allow Saga to see active clues. The key image can be selected with X and placed on the case board. Golden Light Rider. Another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Coincidence? Another body has been found in the woods near Bright Falls. Perfectly timing. Perfect timing. Need to see if it is linked to the killings. We're here to investigate. When a key image is placed, it will prompt a new question. Objectives are viewable at the case board in your goals. You are now free to examine the case board. Press the circle to complete this investigation. Find evidence. Alright, let's find evidence. You can collect clues from the body, progress through the investigation. Bruising on the wrist from the cargo straps holding him down. Mm. Cargo straps, they're a lot like Ratchet strap. The killer left the heart right next to the body. Inside stab wound. Interrupted. Chest cut open. Heart removed. Newly discovered clues can be placed onto the open question marks. Questions. Right, how do I get these up? Cases. Goals. Can be placed onto the open question mark. Right, I can't do that. Circle. Triangle just opens this. Oh, okay, down on the D-pad. Was that explained? Major oh chest trauma. God. Heart removed from chest, strapped by the wrists. Definitely matches the previous murders. But this time the heart and the straps were left behind. More clues to work with. This makes four murders that we know about. The clues have been resolved. The open question and unlocked. Have resolved the open question and unlocked a deduction. As you invest as you advance the investigation, new questions will be unlocked, updating your goals. You can check the updated goals by pressing triangle. You are now free to examine. Press circle when ready to leave. Investigate the crime scene, learn more about the victim, learn more about the killer. Right, okay. Murder matches previous cases, but in interrupted may find some new leads at this time. Because they were interrupted and left things. 
Let's find some info. Who is our victim? Who killed him? Need to find more clues. Visiting the mine place does not cause the game to be does not pause the game, so be mindful of nearby threats. Multiple people were here. Multiple killers? Hmm. So multiple Large amount lots. of blood on the table. The victim died here. Someone left in a hurry. Knocked the tripod over. Was it for a camera? Someone was drinking beer. They spent time here. Waiting. Ooh, weird. Doesn't make sense. Boot prints indicating multiple killers. Quite the party. Crime of passion. Passion for war. I think I saw something. It'll only oh. take a minute. I'll wait here. Locked. They really don't want people coming in here. Okay. I'm looking for items. I'm not going all the way down there. Oh. Can you tell us about the person? Any idea who the victim is? Oh, I sure do. His name is Nightingale. He was FBI. He came to town about 13 years ago. I haven't heard a word about him since. Well, until now. Nightingale? Robert Nightingale? Oh, yes. You probably knew him. Brothers in arms. Oh, and sisters. The victim is Robert Nightingale, last seen in Bright Falls 13 years ago. Oh, I sure do. His name is Nightingale. He was FBI. He came to town about 13 years ago. Why and surface now? Word about him since. Where's he been? Well, until now. Ooh, this getting interesting. So you knew our victim? Well, I didn't recognize him in his current state. But yeah, I... Ran into him a few times at Quantico. Never worked any cases together. After his partner got killed in the field, he went off the deep end. Got the boot pretty quick after that. So what happened to Nightingale after the Bureau let him go? I only know the rumors. Depression led to booze. Booze led to paranoia. He got some wild ideas in his head. Chased ghosts until he fell off the map. Guess he ended up here. I bet there's more to that story. But no happy ending. So it's been missing Nightingale went missing 13 years ago. 2010. The same as all the other victims. Certainly fits the pattern. Makes me wonder what was going on that year. Probably something this town wants to forget. You sound like you should be about 10 years older. I think that's everything. For now, at least. Mm-hmm. 
anything Are you dying your hair? Not sure. Robert Nightingale, ex-FBI, came to Bright Falls 13 years ago. Hmm. Makes sense. They planned for the murder to happen here. Passing the time with equipment ready. They were waiting for him. But why Nightingale? He's been missing for 13 years. Why here? Why now? Profiling. Get into the subject's head. See what they saw. Feel what they felt. Use whatever I know about them to guide my intuition to a revelation. Piece it together. Using your intu intuition, Saga can discover new clues by profiling people of interest. Nightingale was chosen as the victim. Why? Click the switch. It goes click. Lights are off. But somebody's home. Somebody's home. This wasn't some random act of violence. This was a ritual. And Nightingale a component. They didn't see him as a person. More like a container for something. More like a container or something. Agent Nightingale has been MIA for 13 years. How did he end up here? Up from the lake that's not a lake. It's dark. He was there too. You are not allowed in the lake until he says otherwise. Robert Nightingale came from the lake before his murder. Was he dead? I feel like Nightingale came from the lake. But why now? Why after 13 years? Where's he been? Has he been in the lake? Let's go to the lake. The lake is connected to Nightingale somehow. Where did it go? Casey, this way. let's take a look down by the lake. Lead the way. Sounds good. Uh, this way, right? Right. Well, okay. Well, I'll just, uh, I'll just wait here. This one of your hunches, Anderson? Did something happen at the lake? I think Nightingale came up from that direction, from the lake. But how would you Probably know that? Probably looking for shelter, safety. They were waiting for him. When you're ready, I'd love to hear what you put together so far. Sure. It's not that complicated. Nightingale was out in the woods alone at night, possibly nude. The killers knew he was here, ambushed him, dragged him to the campgrounds, strapped him to the table, cut his heart out. But then they were interrupted by those witnesses, the bookers. He lit the witch called from the lake, job is unfinished. Where her spirit may that still seems haunt pretty this place. complicated to me. What was this guy doing skinny dipping at this time of year? I haven't figured that part out <gasps> yet. I can go in here. Lots of questions. Lots of answers for us to find. Oh, this is so cool. You can go in the building. I can't see fucking anything though, it's so bright. Friday. Mitch told me today that her family's moving away. This sucks. I haven't even told her what I've, that I like her yet. What's the point anymore? She said her parents want to get better jobs and to get her to, to a better school in the big city. 
I guess that's fair. Who wants to stay in Bright, bright fucking falls? Sunday. So I told her, she said, I told her. She said thanks. Fucking kill me. Monday I snuck out last night again. Went to the big house by the lake. Instead of just watching it from there. Like I always do. Instead of just sitting around like I always do. Screw that. Anyway. Something weird was going on down there. I'm going to find out what. I'm going to go back there tomorrow. With better gear. I bet I can find a way inside the building. Take some photos. It's going to be epic. Did you die? Batteries. You leave anything else? Can I take this? And I can't turn the pages. Why would you not A be able to Is take that it? A kids lunchbox? An Alex Casey movie lunchbox. Casey hates the endless jokes about coincidentally having the same name here, as a fake detective. Scared, just remember that Alan is he hates those us. cheesy crime books. But he really hates the movies. Mmm, Alan is watching over us. Hold the fire button to activate auto fire mode. This significantly increases the rate of fire. Increases the magazine by magazine size by 50%. Wow. Land two headshots in quick succession to stun an enemy for an extended duration. We I mean, go for headshots with limited ammo, which I'm assuming this game is gonna give you. It's probably gonna be quite hard, especially if they're zipping in and out like they used to in Island Wake One. I think the 50% one's probably going to be the, the way to go. My first ever prank on Casey. A true classic. Salt in the sugar shaker? If only the rest of the Bureau knew what a softy Casey is. Alright, let's get back to it. Anderson. Forest can be a dangerous place. I didn't know trees got that big. A witch with no heart. A strange echo of owl murder. Hmm. Which is ladle. There is no mystery in Cauldron Lake being named after its cauldron shape. And yet there is many mysterious stories about the lake. It being a gloomy doorway to the underworld or a witch whose cauldron the lake really was. The legend tells that when the affections of a local sheriff went unanswered, he accused the lady in question of having bewitched him. She was drowned, but her dropped ladle grew into a strange tree named Witch's Ladle. The woman returned after returned to avenge her wrongdoers. If she was not a witch before, she was one now. She killed the sheriff, drowning him in the lake. Then she took out his heart and locked it in a box. With the heart, she would summon him from the lake to exact revenge on her behalf. Or so the legend goes. Killed a sheriff drowning him in a lake. Our sheriff was came from the lake. Well, he wasn't a sheriff, he was an FBI agent. And this is the tree. Fucking hell, that is a big tree, isn't it? Tracks. Barefoot. Nightingales? They come out from under the boulder. 
It makes no sense. There's a piece of paper on the ground. What does that say? Uh, I want this piece of paper. Oh, she got it. A page full of text on one side. Not a printout. Written with a typewriter. Old school. Lines scratched out and edits added with a pen. Mm hmm Like a manuscript. A page of a story. Mm. Killer left a message. It's for us. The text is about us. The victim was one of their own. FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale. And then there was the page they found. The first step down into terrifying depths. Reading, Reading the, the words. words. These words felt like a message. Felt like a message. Someone knew they were here. Someone playing a game with them. An invitation. How could they not accept? Even, even if they, they knew it would end up hurting them. Someone's been watching us. <laughs> you were right. This is right up my alley. Nightingale came this way. Either he dropped this page, or the killers left it for us. came from underneath I think he came from the lake but his tracks make no sense Finding a Casey movie lunchbox out here can't be a coincidence. Another message? Hmm. What does it say? Reading the words, these words felt like a message, someone playing a game with them. There's another thing, so the killer was watching us. Game on. Right, so I've got one question mark left. I've missed something. Um, okay, so go case board, cross profiling. Oh, that's good. I don't have to walk around the building. Just we found a page in the woods, a story about these events. What is Nightingale's role in this? I carry his words close to my chest now. Inside the awful truth. You must dig it out. Something was put inside him. In his chest. I must find out what. Something hidden inside of him. Found all I can here. Time to properly examine the body. See what I can find inside. Learned all I can here. Let's get the back body in town for examination. Casey, let's go down I to the water. I think something's been put inside Nightingale's body. Let's tell the deputies to get the body to the town morgue. Okay. 
okay. Whoever wrote that page made sure it read like a story. Like a scene from a thriller. I hate all of it. The text said we'd find more. I believe it. But what's the purpose? They're twisting events to create their own narrative to do... what? Entertain some fantasy? Projecting their desires? Are we characters or the audience? Witnesses to their design? All the above? It's all about control. Deciding what happens to who. Don't let it drag you in. Too late. I'm already hooked. I need the next chapter. Can't go any further. Water's too deep. Did you know this entire area is inside a caldera? This whole mountain used to be an active volcano. Imagine the force it took to carve this crater out of the Earth. Caldera is a pretty rare, so be sure to take it in. So, essentially, we're standing in the gaping maw of hell. You got it. You made it back. Good. I used to love geology when I was in school. I helped Logan build a great baking soda volcano for her science fair. Feeding on a science fair? That's almost a crime, Anderson. I'm not gonna say no to quality time with a volcano. I mean, my daughter. <laughs> I hope you didn't get stuck in any of those big puddles. Crazy flooding down there, huh? Just like I said. <laughs> Just pull out your gun. Deputy, <laughs> I want the body taken back to town for a proper examination, ASAP. Well, sure, but the coroner won't be back in town for another week after Deerfest. Not a problem. I'll do it myself. Oh, and Sheriff Breaker called to say he's got the bookers at the Oh Dear Diner in town. Oh, and I've got a key to the gate. It's a shortcut back to the parking lot just up the hill. Thanks. Let's go. Let's, go Let's get the car, the drive to Bright Falls, and talk to these witnesses, the bookers. At the diner, right? Oh, I dear diner. Let's try that shortcut the deputy mentioned. Sounds good. Hello, this is Agent Anderson and Agent Casey, FBI. We'd like to come in and ask a few questions pertaining to an investigation. <laughs> Guess I am interested. Nice talking to you, too. Beach. Oh, okay. Well, that's the way I came up earlier. Seems I got like a nice town so far. Murders aside. Pretty woods. <clears throat> Cute lodge we got set up in. We should go for a hike if we get a chance. Now you're just being mean, Anderson. Deputies aren't exactly up to the task, but hopefully the sheriff will be more helpful. Not a surprise about the deputies. Doubt they see much stuff this gruesome. Another blue thing. A lunchbox oh. again. Who's leaving these out here? What are they? We're all in this together, hero. Have a heroic day. So when you find little blue things on the floor, manuscript pages. It's like the metal piece isn't condemned. You'd find them around. Can't fit the clues all together yet. Heart removed, tripod, tracks leading to a dead end. A tripod for a camera <clears throat> to record a, a snuff film. <laughs> I'll be back in a second. Roger. No, are we not supposed to be going this way? I thought we were supposed to be going this way. Up to the car park.
Here we are. Let's drive back to town and meet the sheriff at the diner. Here's me. Oh, you joined me now? I think I saw something. It'll only take a minute. Always here. I guess I didn't see anything. Well, I'll look to that. I can't get that manuscript page out of my head. I've never seen killers reach out so directly before. Damn impressive work so far. With your technique, these hunches were moving fast. I wasn't sure about taking a case so far from home, but I'm thrilled to be here for this mystery. Oh, hell yeah. I'm so glad to be back here. Need to swing by the lodge to get anything from the field office? No, I'm all set. I'll park there anyway. I want to walk to the diner, get a feel for the town. God, it's hitting me with so much nostalgia for the old game. I used to play the game in the back garden in a projector at night. With my mates. It was well good. The diner's just up the waterfront. Shouldn't keep the sheriff and our witnesses waiting. I smell coffee. I smell a break. Where are we up to? 52 minutes. Alright, so I'm going to leave it here. Uh, back for the next one. Peace.